All right, so before this video starts, I wanna get a couple things out of the way. One, you will not learn anything from this. This isn't a tutorial, so please don't dislike this video because you thought this was a tutorial. This is just me trying to figure out a problem and showing my thought process, and this is what I try to do for practice because I'm unemployed and I'm broke and I need a job, so please hire me. Two, hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving break, didn't upload on purpose. Enjoy this video, more videos are coming. December's our month, my month. I just made $66 off this channel, so I guess you could say I'm making it as a YouTuber. All right, enjoy, bye. Okay, so listen, my mic is falling. Why are you doing this, why? All right, so listen, Jesus Christ. Let me let me show you guys the resource I go to. The resource. And keep in mind, I'm, I'm still trash at this whole screen recording thing, so please be patient with me. So the site I suggest you go to is LeetCode. And the reason for that is we have things like this right here. They talk about their experience and how do they prepare. They show you how they prepared and then if they use this website, they show you the types of problems that they used on this website to prepare, right? And so let's say they got a specific problem during this interview, they typically link you that problem so you kind of get a general sense of what they're asking at Google, right? That goes for all of them, honestly, Amazon. Software engineer, software developer, I don't know what the SDE stands for. I know it was engineering, but whatever. Uh <laughs> Point is, um, see, this is a new grad, so if you're a new grad or entry level or whatever, um, you talk about your experience and then you talk about the, the, the coding problem that you got and then you link someone to that coding problem that they gave you at Amazon, right? And I've seen this before. Am I gonna do it? No. <laughs> and that's, that's what I've been using lately to prepare myself. Let me... <laughs> So for the sake of the fact that I start working in like 30 minutes, um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take like an hour to try to solve one of these, right? So on this site, there are medium, easy, hard questions. Even the easy ones, depending on your experience of knowledge or knowledge of data structures and algorithms, um, you might have to struggle. Even if it says easy, I remember looking at it and be like, this is not easy. It's only hard to you because it's based off what your knowledge is, right? So I was able to do this medium difficulty one and we're gonna work through it together. Don't expect to learn anything from me. Letting you know that right now, do not. Let's say you're in an interview. Given an array of integers, some elements appear twice and others appear once. Find all the elements that appear twice. Find all elements that appear twice in this array. Could you do it without extra space and in on runtime probably not this right here just goes over time uh time complexity or basically it's it's going over the most efficient way to handle a problem so in their example they give us an array of four three two seven eight two three and one that's the array of numbers right the input that we get is an array of numbers and we're supposed to output the duplicates right so we have three there's one two right and we have two and then there's one and two. Two and two, two and three are the only numbers that appear more than once. How do we solve this? And again, you're not supposed to really learn anything from me. I'm just kind of working through the problem, hopefully explaining it better than I understood it. So what I'm gonna do now is make an empty array called, I don't know, duplicates. I need a way to keep track of how many times a certain number comes up, right? So say if four comes up, I need to say it appears once. Say if three comes up, I need to say it appears twice. Say if two comes up, I need to say it appears twice. And say if seven comes up, it appears once, right? So I'm gonna do that by creating an object called map, right? Um, boom. We're gonna map over this. So he here's how I'm visualizing this project, right? So say if I have map. So if I have a number four, I wanna say it appears once. And then if I have a number six, for example, I wanna say it appears twice or three times, apparently to my typing. And if I have a number seven, again, I can't type, I wanna say it appears 13 times. Okay, 13. How I'm gonna figure this out is basically by looking at the specific key um, and seeing if it's more than one, right? So obviously six appears more than once and seven appears 13 times, it's way more than one, and that would be considered a duplicate, right? You get me? You get me. And again, don't be frustrated if you don't catch on, because I sure as hell would be like, why am I watching this video? So if you guys know anything about array, these are called elements, like the first element, second element, third, fourth, well, technically, array start with zero, one, two, three. Nums is what they give us. That's the that's the array that they give us. They give us an array of numbers, right? That's what nums means. Um, that this could be named anything like cats, but 
for the sake of having clean code that makes sense when you read it 10 months from now, name it nums. So I'm gonna loop through every element in nums, right? So I'm gonna do four, I'm gonna say let element for each element of nums. So for each element in nums, so that's an element, that's an element, that's an element, that's an element, right? I wanna add to my map object, right? So if I, I'm gonna do if, if there is an element right there already, I want to, oop, I feel like I did something wrong. I don't like how that looks. What, why are you looking ugly? What are you doing? So I'm saying if there is already a map for, if there's already a key for that element, I would just want to add map element plus plus and plus plus just increments by one it adds one right otherwise i want to do map element equals one sorry guys i always got, i always got to look offside to the screen to make sure that my uh, recording software did not shut down 10 minutes ago and i've been recording because <laughs> that's happened so i'm just paranoid so all i'm saying right here is for each element in the nums array, right? I'm looping through each one, right? In the map.element, if in that key already has a number assigned to it, it'll say like if it's if it already has one in it, then just add one to it to increment it by one, right? Otherwise, if there's nothing on that key, then make it equal to one because you just found one. That's the first iteration of it, right? Now I wanna map through the map object that we just added to right here. And I also wanna check which one is more than one because that's where we're gonna find our duplicates, right? For, for each element in map. So here's another, here's a random key tip that I just learned. If you're looping through um, an array, you use the of, right? But if you're looping through an object, n works, okay? And that's just how JavaScript is. Fun, fun news for me. So this specific element is greater than one. So what I wanna do right now is check if that specific key and what's on that specific element in the object is greater than one, right? And if it is greater than one, what I wanna do is take my duplicates array that we created over here, right? Right now it's empty and I wanna add to it so I can return, you know, my duplicates, right? So I wanna take my duplicates. I want to push to that array. So if you guys don't know, if you wanna to add to an array, you just simple push. Uh, push, this will push. So say if I have an array of one, ooh, that's not an array. <laughs> The one, two, three, four, right? So that's my array, right? And say if I wanna add to it, all I'd have to do is do my array and then I'll do push and then I'll do what I wanna add to it. And that's it. So then what we'll get back for my array would be, then we we'll do like a little, a little like, that's it, that'd be my array now, right? So that's what I'm trying to do over here, right? So duplicates is currently empty and I wanna put the duplicates in it. So if there is more than, if there's more than one, that means automatically it's a duplicate, right? So I wanna push whatever that element is into my array of duplicates. And then if I take this back, cause I like to space it. And then at the end, apparently this is something a lot of people forget. Once you've worked through a big ass function, <laughs> Um, don't forget to return because your function has to give you back something, right? When you call it. So I want to return the duplicates array. That's it. Now I swear to God, if I run this code and it doesn't work, <laughs> we're going to have a problem. We're, we're going to have a problem. All right, let's, let's see it. All right. But still, this is leak code. And when they give you a different test case and it doesn't work, something's wrong with your code. So this might work, but if I click submit and then leak code does its own and it doesn't work, then we have a problem. Let's see right here. So just to run through what we just did, cause I know it was probably a lot, especially if you don't really have knowledge of what you're doing. And I didn't have knowledge of what I was doing. And I'm currently working through a Udemy course to get better and better. I'm gonna make myself bigger cause we're gonna explain things. We're gonna, we're gonna explain things. So let's run it all the way back, right? Yeah, obviously it wants us to return an array of numbers that were duplicates, right? So nums is the array that we get. So there's, imagine off screen, if you're having a hard time visualizing, imagine off screen, actually it's right here. What am I doing? <laughs> it's right here. This is nums, okay? 
This is what is, is in nums. This is what they're giving us to work with. So that's what's being put, passed into our function, right? So we created an empty array so we could store our results in there, right? Um, we can name this results if you want to make it a little bit better. Results. Wait, that was an easier way to do this and I wanted to look cool. Let me, let me look like I know what I'm doing. Oh shit. Never mind. Never mind. We have our empty array that we got to make so we could push stuff onto it for our results, right? Then we have our map. This is going to help us count how many of each element there is. For each element in nums, right? So this is an element, this is an element, this is an element. If map element is true, I want you to add one, right? So if this is saying if, if it's true the map element already has a number on it, then add one, right? Otherwise, if it's not true, then make it one so that you could add that so you have somewhere to start right after we've added to our map object and you know incremented everything we need to increment what we need to do now is loop through our map object for each element in map i want you to look if if that element is greater than one push it to the results if when we did this plus plus and it's greater than one or maybe a stated one but if we did plus plus and it's two or three or four i want you to push that thing to the results array. And once we do that, once we've done that for each element in the map, then we're out of that loop. Once we're out of that, then we return the results of everything. These are our results. I'm sorry if I make no sense. I just wanted you guys to see what the hell I've been studying, <laughs> or what I've been trying to get better at. And I, it's, it's not easy to like grasp everything and even while I explain this, I'm doing this for me so I could get better at explaining my code. And if I'm trash at it right now, I'm trash at it. But you guys will see me get better at it. If you want more of these, let me know. And also the, the benefit about uh, leak code is the fact that you could go into the discussions and say if you want to look at this in JavaScript. Script. Intuitive JavaScript solution. Let's just take a peep at this person's. This person did a bunch of things. But you could tell his code he has less code than me, but you could also tell that he knows a little bit more about JavaScripts, you know, ins and out because I don't know what, I don't know what this does right here. No idea. You can only get to this point with practice, practice, practice. That's it for me. Peace. I hope I could edit this down to like three minutes. Coming with me, yeah. no.